Turn to textbook page 182, 182쪽, grammar 16.4, giving and offering 어와 드리다. Before going to grammar 16.4, I just want to uh, review uh, this verb, 주다, which was introduced as a benefactive, benefactive expression, 주다, in textbook page 71 on grammar 13.1. 주다, when it's used as a main verb, it has a meaning of to give, give something to someone. Uh, let me show an example of how, where 주다 is used. So for example, Michael uh, is giving a flower to Lisa. How do you say this? Michael, give her the recipient, Lisa한테 꽃을 주었어요. Notice that the, um, the status of Michael and Lisa, this, they are equal, they are planned. So use 주었어요, 주다 verb. 선생님이 저한테 사전을 주셨어요. The teacher uh, gave me a dictionary. And notice that 주시다 is the 주다 because uh, the giver is a senior person and recipient 저 is um, a junior. So when a senior person is giving something to junior person, you need to use 주시다. Here she is on a big suffix. 부모님이 저한테 돈을 주셨어요. My parents gave me money. So it's similar to the previous one. So when you think about the status, the recipient and giver, they are different. A senior person is giving something to junior person 주시다. Always keep that in mind when you choose the verb 주다 and 주시다. Now, uh, many times, 주다 is used as an auxiliary verb. It is used in the construction of verb stem with 어와 주다. In that case, which means uh, it means to do something for someone's sake. So for example, uh, Steve가 책을 읽었어요. Steve가 책을 동생한테 읽어주었어요. The first one, Steve가 책을 읽었어요. It doesn't have any audience. Steve uh, read a book. However, the second one, 읽어주다, is Steve is giving, uh, is doing something for someone's sake. So Steve is uh, or read a book for a younger sibling's sake. So uh, if someone is doing some beneficial uh, action for someone, in that case, you use first name with 어와주다. 읽어주다, 가주다, 해주다, 도와주다, 빌려주다. All these are these kind of expressions. And 어와주세요 is also used when requesting or something in which the benefit is for the speaker. So like, please do something for me. So when you make a request, you can say uh, 어와주세요. So for example, 책을 읽어주세요. Please read a book for me. Please uh, uh, help me doing the homework. 숙제를 도와주세요. Please send me an email. 이메일을 써주세요. Like that way. Uh, in fact, 어와주세요 is uh, similar to this expression, 으세요. Uh, both used for making a request or command. However, in terms of a degree of politeness, 어와주세요 is more polite than 으세요. So, 으세요 is polite command, 어와주세요 is both a uh, polite command. However, 어와주세요 is much, much more polite than 으세요. So, I strongly suggest you to 어와주세요 instead of 으세요. So for example, please read a book, 책을 읽으세요. However, please read a book for me and politely, in that case, you could say 책을 읽어주세요, like that way. Now, uh, let's go back to grammar 16.4. Uh, here, four of these, uh, uh, four verbs are uh, introduced. And it has a meaning of giving and offering. So uh, let me just explain the differences among these four. 주다, we just reviewed, it's you or someone or senior, uh, a junior or equal is giving something to a junior or equal. In that case, you use 주다. We reviewed this expression, so you're probably familiar with how you use it. 주시다, we also reviewed, someone who is a senior is giving something to a junior or an equal. 주시다, so for example, 부모님이 저한테 꽃을 주셨어요. My parents gave me a flower. The teacher gave me a dictionary. 선생님이 저한테 어, 사전을 주셨어요. In that case, you use 주시다. Then what is 드리다? 
Trida is a junior person or equal. It's giving something to a senior. So let's say uh, I am giving a um, uh, uh, flower to my parents. But think about the status of the uh, giver and recipient. The uh, giver, me, a uh, junior person is giving a senior person. Uh, 제가, uh, in that case, you just need to use humble expression indicating I. 제가 부모님께 꽃을 드렸어요. In that case, you need to use 드리다. So it's like a humble expression. 드리시다 is a little bit complicated. It involves uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the seniority. So senior person, uh, when you think about the relationship between you and the giver, a senior is giving something to a senior. So let's say um, in Korea, the status of your parents and grandparents are different. Your uh, grandparent is it's more higher than your parents. So let's say your parents are giving something to your grandparents. In that case, you need to use 드리시다. So for example, my parents gave a flower to my grandparents. In that case, you need to use 드리시다. 어, 부모님이, 뭐, 부모님께서, 어, 어, 할머니께 꽃을 드리세요. So, in that case, 드리시다 is correct. Let me show more example. So, 드리다 is a humble form that is used uh, to a person of higher status. 제가 아버지께 가방을 드려요. The status of you and your parents are different. So you are giving something to a senior person. So 드리다 is correct. Or 드리다, a benefactive expression is also is in the same level, um, con same uh, context. So 어 드리다 is a humble uh, form of 어 주다. So to do something for someone uh, who is a senior person. So for example, I'm taking a photo for my mom. How to say this? 어머니 사진을 찍어 드려요. Because I am a um, uh, giver is a junior person and recipient is a senior person and I'm doing something for a senior person. In that case, 어 드리다. Oh, so, so let me show more example. Oh, 제가 I help my mom making kimchi. 제가 어머니 김치 만들어 어, 어, 도와드려요. 어, like that way. Now, let me show a more example. 할머니 댁에 갔어요. I went to my grandparents house. I made Korean food for, how do you say this? 한국 음식을 만들어 드렸어요. So, a uh, giver is you uh, doing something for um, a senior person's sake. 만들어 드려요. I helped her. How do you say this? 도와드렸어요. 제가 할머니께 도와드렸어요. I bought her cloth. How do you say this? 옷을 제가. In that case, you can just omit their, um, their uh, 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 저. Subject. 저, 제가 오, 할머니께 옷을 사드렸어요. So it might sound weird when there's no subject and no uh, the person who is a recipient. However, if context is clear, this is the way to Korean people say. So you could have said, 제가 할머니께 옷을 사드렸어요. Or you can just omit these two and just can say, 옷을 사드렸어요. I cleaned the house for her. How do you say this? 집을 청소해 드렸어요. So a uh, junior person is doing uh, something for senior person say you can always use 어와드리다. 책좀 빌려주세요. Would you please send me some book? 네, I am going to lend you some book. 빌려드릴게요. I'm doing something for your sake. And a humble expression. 언제까지 돌려드릴까요? Until when I'm going to return it. 모레까지 돌려주세요. Please return it. Uh, uh, by the day after tomorrow, 모레, 돌려주세요. You're making a request and uh, to show respect to the other person, so you are using 세요, 주세요. Let me show more example. 리사가 친구한테 빨간 구두를 빌려줘요. Lisa is lending 
um, uh, relative to her friend. So think about the state of these two persons. They are equal. So 빌려주다. 학생, a teacher. 학생이 선생님께 이름을 써드렸어요. So the student is doing something for um, teacher's sake. So we are using humble expression. 선생님께서 학생한테 Now, 선생님 is a senior person. Uh, 학생 is a recipient. 우유를 사 주셨어요. So you need to show respect to the other person. So honorific expression 사 주시다 is correct. 제가 할머니께 할머니 is a recipient. So you are doing something for your uh, grandmother's sake. 맛있는 갈비를 만들어 드렸어요. So you are making 갈비, uh, delicious 갈비. For your uh, grandmother's sake. 할머니께서 your grandma to you 저한테 새 가방을 사 주셨어요. So notice that 사 주다 here. Now complete the sentences with one of the verbs or giving in the box below. Use an appropriate suffix for each verb. It's in textbook page 183 exercise 2. Uh, number one, 어머니가 저한테 돈을, which is correct, 주세요. My mom is giving money to me. Number two, 내가 친구한테 샌드위치를 만들어, which one is correct, 줘요. So, uh, you and your friends are equal to that, so you use 주다. Number three, 저게요, right here, so you try to draw attention in a restaurant. 할머니께 물죠, 갔다. 드리세요. You're using humble expression. Number four. 선생님께서 아버지께 편지를 보내 주세요. And 드리세요. In that case, you can use both of them. Because, you know, it's not easy to differentiate the status of your teacher and your parents at the same time. So depending on your perspective, you can use 주세요 and 드리세요. With your partner, talk about what you did for your parents on a parent's day, mother's day or father's day. Make sure you use the target for 어아들이다. 지난 아버, 아, 어버이날에 parent's day, 어버이날 is a parent's day in Korea. 부모님께 뭐 해드렸어요? What did you do for your parents on you know, parent's day? 맛있는 저녁을 사드렸어요. So think about it.